bi-weekly, tri-weekly and just talk about real real stuff with y'all out there because I can and we can um, so yeah this live specifically I'm just curious about negativity in your life just believe it a lot it's, believe it or not it's a lot of negative on YouTube, leaving negative comments and all that. The content creators probably get the worst of it, but I'm curious, you guys. How do you deal with negativity in your life? What do you do? What do you do? Specifically, what do you do when it's close friends? Your family. It's kind of like, um, if people you don't know talking shit, then you don't know them. It's easy. It's cool. What about the post What then? What then? Ethan says, pray. Praying is good. Praying is good. Praying is good. Is that all you do? Any other outlets? Um, Chappelle said, I just don't deal with it. Everybody got to deal with negativity. Just like everybody got to deal with your eyes. You got to deal with it in some way. Um, the real said, I believe I think let's take a deep breath and pray for the naked people and keep them at a distance. So my question is, what if it is impossible to keep this, this negative force at a distance? What if it's your wife at the time, your baby mama at the time? What if it's your boss, somebody you have to be in contact with? How do you deal with negativity coming from somebody that you can't, can't keep a distance from? Um, Ethan said, or just ignore it. Okay. Rich Music said, treat it like a cancer. If I can't be treated, if it can't be treated, you have to let the friendship go. Right. But again, my question is, what if it's some a relationship you can't break? A relationship you cannot break. Um, if you just join the live, we talk about negativity in our lives and how we're dealing with it. But yeah, a relationship you can't break. Your kid. What do you do about your kid being negative? Mm -hmm. 
Danny Chin's shoes said, I just go for a walk in the neighborhood, go to Kava Bar on the beach to get rid of negativity. That's, that's smart. Taking a walk is good. The beach is a great place to let things go. So that's good. That's good. <laughs> Oh yeah, we talk about negativity. Specifically, what do you do when you have negative forces in your life? <laughs> uh, Herman McKinley said, "Take it to the grass." CT, good morning. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, talk to God. Doesn't say talk to God. Okay, talk. Yeah, talking is. You know, you believe believe it or not, people don't be want to talk. People will be ready to just quit somebody over something that we could just talk about. Or don't want to address the um the issues that on. Hey y'all, good evening, good evening. So yes, I just got on live not too long ago. I was working on a sketch, but I figured I'd hop on because I was planning to anyway. Because I wanted to talk about negativity. How do you guys combat negativity? What are you implementing in your own life so that way you're not your own worst critic? Because that's the thing as well. What if it's not coming from outside? What if it's coming from within? How do you keep that in check? Which means that a physical separation isn't possible. You can only control how you allow it to affect your energy. Absolutely. Yes. So put some legs on that. What does that look like for you? Somebody said taking a walk, taking a breath. I think breathing is highly underrated. People really don't think about how like it's self-care to literally stop. Take a deep, deep, deep breath. Somebody mentioned Nap. Shout out to Nap. Uh, Tariq, shout out to you. Thank you so much, Sunshine. Much love your way. You VIP of the night, I'll tell you that. Um, the Great King lives says I usually play and go to pray to go to and go to sleep. Ain't nothing like a good nap when feeling down or confused or not or not sure what to do. But my whole thing is if you have work dealing with negativity, you can't go to sleep. That's good. As soon as I get on, though. Combat it with hands and feet. Okay. High point. I'm a happy person, but once I get mad, I usually go sit with nature. Yeah, that's good. Shout out to you guys for, for hopping on. Shout out to you, Levi. Yeah, that's good. You know, I find that there are a lot of people taking the time to address how negativity may be making them feel. Because what people fail to realize is all these things have an effect on them. If you bottling stuff up, if you're not resting, not cleansing, you know, your insides from the food you eat, not cleansing your brain, and then you carrying negativity from other people, other people's energy, and you're not doing nothing about this, that should add up. It really adds up. And we were just talking about self-care in the other lives. So it's just like, I think combating negativity in your life is not that easy when it's people you love and you care about. I feel like some people don't even be realizing that they negative. Do y'all feel like that? Some people don't even be realizing it. They all, every time they got something to say, it's... Daniel said, meditate, meditate is good. Um, I give myself pep talks throughout the day. It's important to speak life into yourself for sure, which music for sure. Um, good evening, Michael. Um, I think about the greatness that is my life, plus I don't want to get my blood pressure high. That's enough right there. Y'all can say what y'all want, but I be trying not to get stressed or too angry or too worried because I don't want my face to get fucked up and read. 
Like, I don't want to frown too much. Like, whenever I be thinking about something real hard and I'm stressed, I'm like, ooh, stop. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm going to just stop. And I'll be stopping. So not wanting your blood pressure to go high, that's enough to stop a lot. If you just join a lot, we're just talking about negativity. How to affect your life. I'm sorry. How do you combat it in your life? How do you ensure that it don't take over, it don't consume you? You know? Um... Thank you so much, Sean Motz. I appreciate it. It's a little liner, a little gloss. You can, you know, when you're blessing the lip department, you can just boom, boom, real quick and keep it moving. Um, it's the people that you love. Yeah, Louis, uh, Louis Vuitton says self accountability, darling. Sure. What does that look like for you? With the self accountability, marijuana said. Rich music said marijuana helps. Also, I would be remiss if I denied that marijuana definitely helps. Okay, relax, cool, ease a lot of situations, right? Um, but specifically negativity. But uh, what about yourself, y'all? How you know when you're being too hard on yourself? And this is why being in isolation is is detrimental if you're doing it too much. Because like, how do you know when you're being too hard on yourself? You're being too negative on yourself. Kenny says, how you deal with it is take a journal, write it down, then meditate, then pray on it. Yeah, that works for you. I think everybody got different ways that it may, you know, affect them. But yes, definitely journal, definitely meditate. I enjoy, I enjoy meditating. You know, I think which music or somebody mentioned speaking life speaking life into yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jamal, these lips can cuss you out if you get in my life. Just being negative. I don't get to that. Calvin Green said, damn, I am my own negativity. I just went to the gas station and bought four little Debbie snacks. I'm done after this, though. I had a craving. It's because I know I'm about to stop smoking. <laughs> Calvin Green for hitting this on the head, okay? We all know how it is, Calvin. First of all, brother, we with you when we feel you. As a personal snacker, as a cereal snacker myself, I understand how it is. I feel like giving yourself little goals, you know, taking it day by day. But it's okay. You had them four Debbie snacks. You can't, you got, you can't go back. You need to at least give your day a full, a self a full day without no Debbie snacks. And then we're going to see how you do tomorrow, Friday. See how you do on Saturday. Try to do a whole day Saturday. You're going to look up. It's going to be a week. But definitely, you're trying to start smoking. Definitely. Get you some, um, get you some healthy snacks. I've been telling everybody this. Get you some healthy snacks that you can keep eating all day. Get you some nuts. Get you some berries. You can eat that shit all day. Okay. Um, Mr. Marcus said my podcast. I talk about it in the podcast. Get it out in the open and get it all out my system. That's fair. Yeah. Some type of release. That's, that's definitely a part of self-care for sure. Shout out to you. Um, the anxiety kicked in. Yeah, you got to do something about that now. You got to be able to control your instrument. It's about self-control. Um, but if you're just joining the live, we're talking about negativity. You know, we're just shooting the shit as usual. Um, if it's your first time, welcome. Much, much love. If you have been rocking with me, watching my videos, I appreciate it. Um, I recently, today, I think, was when it was scheduled. I posted a vlog from when I went camping earlier in the spring. That was hella cool. So check that out. It was fun. Um, and fun to make, but yeah, as far as negativity coming from within, you criticizing yourself too much, you being your own worst enemy. How are we combating this? How are we keeping this in check? Are y'all reflecting on how you feel about yourself? Try and stay away from them two dollar Snickers, okay? Self motivation is key. 
Great King Will says I take some uh, social media cleanses as well. Shout out to you, Chris Clayton. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Much love, baby. You know what you do. Not because my light is too bright. Watch this. Um, social media breaks are key. Key, 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 key. Key. And social media pay my bills and I still take breaks because y'all not going to listen. Your brain needs a break from so many comments consistently. Obviously, I got walnuts, walnuts and pecans on deck. Period. I stay with me some nuts. Take that how you want. Which means said I'm on a journey, a journey of physical self-improvement. It helps to set a personal goal or redirect your focus. Yes. Yeah. That's what the meditation is it's about. Taking a, a calibration of what's going on inside. What is happening within? Drugs are negative too. You have to feed and figure it. I cut it and them off. Pac, Pac said, no friends. Drugs are negativity. Depends on which ones you're talking about for sure. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I think you did, like I've said many times on, on live and in general before, everybody needs somebody. There's no human being that can optim that can work at their optimal level of we all need some type of influence or conversation, compassion, companionship from another person. Even if it's your weed man you see regularly, you still got companionship. <laughs> Um, Jonathan Cooper said, I got me a manicure, got a medic, a manicure. Cause this ain't Medicare, but I, I feel you. <laughs> I got me a Medicare. I'm like, what the fuck? A manicure and a pedicure today to help me release stress. Good for you. Um, all right. Good for you. Um, combat also with the group chat. I combat also with the group chat with my siblings when I'm feeling negative and I share with them, they tell me to shut up. I love them. They give me great joy. That's a great relationship to have. And that's hurt when you eat too much. It hurts to wipe. You're not chewing the nuts all the way through? Why are you not chewing the nuts? I need you to chew 32 times so you don't have nut bits in your ass when you shit. Sorry for that visual, everybody. Um, Jerry Black, can I cook? Yes. Um, Coastal Kelly said, do you separate yourself from negative people or just decide to grow with them? Um, I just think it depends. If you have control over that relationship, I would say yes, ideally yes. But then you have family members, you have people that you have to be around that may be negative because everybody not positive. But you can't literally separate from everybody. You have to have some type of thing you do internally for yourself where you don't let that affect you. So if I can help it, yes. But like I work with people that are negative. I can't, I'm not gonna not go to work because that motherfucking negative, or I'm not gonna give not get my check because this other person is negative. No, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You feel me? Franklin Sauer said the best way to get negative energy out of the body is by going to the break room where you can throw and yell all you need. Sure, if that's your break room. Because you know, what if your break room ain't really a break room? What if everybody can see inside? What if it ain't even a private space? But I get the idea. I get the idea. I think physical release is very important as well. Like yelling. They got like a thing in LA. It's like a um a rage room, I think is what it's called, where you can literally like take a bath and just break screens and old computers and shit and throw down a a whole fax machine and stuff on it and throw a table against the wall. Yeah. There's a room suite. You pay to go in there, which is beyond me. Like, hmm. Hmm. I watch your VPN to put you there, but you know. Okay. Calvin Grace said it's about wait, what? 
Oh, Cookie Monster. The other, I think another key is finding a rhythm. Sure. Finding a rhythm for your life for sure. Um, Calvin Green, for me, it's about discipline. I eat very healthy. It's just knowing that I'm about to stop smoking cigarettes. Maybe want to eat some of the snacks because I'm about to cut sweets down as well. You eat very healthy? But you got four Debbie snacks? Should the very have been in there? Maybe just the healthy. The very? And you eat a lot of sweets? Is that healthy? Is that very healthy? I understand. I'll do what you got to do, brother. Got those bubbles for my troubles to deal with the emotional rumbles when I stumble, baby. Why you just drop it? Why did you? Just... This nigga and drop bars in the chat. I wasn't ready. I was not ready for that. It'd be like Sandy Grit. Gabriel, you're not chewing your food enough. You also not eating enough fiber to break the nuts down in you, so you got to work it out. And need some more fiber. Um, I live in LA. Half the city or more is negative. Yeah, it's a, it's a negative city. The best way to get rid of negative energy is with a punching bag, dummy. Okay. You said said it's good to say positive affirmations throughout the day for sure. For sure. Speaking the positive affirmations to yourself. It's definitely key. It's definitely key. You know what you need, Gabriel Jefferson? You need some you some matcha tea. You need to look to get you some matcha tea. Drink that, it'll get rid of all it. Just send it straight to the bathroom. Um, shout out to you, Richie. Thanks for joining. We are shooting the shit per usual, but I was just curious on how, what people were doing to um, combat negativity. Um, even with like this vaccine and like COVID right now, it's so much negativity around like just the vaccine itself. Do you have it? Do you not? Whatever. It's a lot of negativity. So it, it definitely is important that we are all keeping our head in a positive space. You know what I mean? You give me at least 200k or more. We're just talking about, but yeah, sure. I hope you're talking about dollars. Anybody have WhatsApp? I'm so annoyed that when you're on WhatsApp now, or at least maybe the settings that I got, whenever I'm in the chat and somebody sends the pictures, like they just automatically get downloaded to my phone. That sucks. Anyway, we're talking about negativity, negativity, y'all, like they're a. We ain't got to stretch it out too much, but I was just curious. Specifically for again close people, people you work with. Motherfuckers be so negative, you know what I mean? I just be like Hello there. I'm feeling all right. I'm doing yeah, I'm doing a little work. What's going on? over there you sound like you're in the car oh 
Okay. Okay, yeah, you can. Okay, I'll be ready for you. Okay, good. It's my dad's house. My sister is at my dad's house. My sister recently had a baby. My nephew is six months old. That's what I have to have on here so I can see that. Um, Jerry Black, this is like lo fi stuff. Lo-fi, I just love fi music, y'all. Just lo-fi, lo fi Um, would you invite Country Wayne to your show? I have a show. What show am I inviting him to? Thanks, Richie. I appreciate it. Who's negative, Ken? Oh, no. We got some work to do as well, Ken and I. We got some work to do. Oops. Yeah, this is just love how he felt. Something crazy. Just some copyright free stuff we can have in the background. So it's not just quiet. I don't like the music. I usually like to have something playing. But I just want y'all to be encouraged. The weekend is coming up. And, uh, you know, you may or may not have a little more interaction this weekend with your, with your, uh, with your friends and family and stuff. But I just want y'all to be encouraged to be positive. And if you're around some people that's negative, don't worry, buddy. You know? Don't trip on it. All right, y'all, but I'm going to go. I got to redo some hair. I got to get my life together. Give me some leftovers that I prepared, some delicious leftovers. So y'all be good to yourself. Be positive to yourself. Love yourself. Give yourself something this week if you haven't. Do I go to counseling to build myself in? Which I know. Counseling? What do you mean? Like therapy or like career counseling? But no, the answer is no. <clears throat> Be good to yourselves um, while you relax and put on some lo fi tonight. Maybe you'll fall asleep to it. You feel me? I'm out there, you guys. Peace and love. <laughs>